Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, please excuse the wet hair. I am just in the middle of getting ready, but as promised in the last video, I thought I would show you guys around the forest um, near our Scotland cottage. Obviously, if you watch my videos, you can tell that we're not actually there at the moment by this room. Um, we're actually in London at the moment. Um, obviously, I filmed the video while we were in Scotland. I just didn't film the introduction, but we are in London um, for Martin's work and we are back to Scotland next week I believe in the original cottage in Aberdeen fingers crossed um but that's just the life of Martin and us and him working all over the place so I hope you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you very soon bye so this is the forest right next to our cottage our cottage is literally just around the corner of this big um barn is, is it called I want to call it a barn like a farm I feel like this used to be like an old farm um, that's just been sort of converted but this is the entrance to like the forest walk which we oh my god I absolutely cropped myself I sort of moved in the trees I literally cropped myself this is where uh, we come for walks and I do my run um, it's so beautiful um, yeah I'll show you around I won't show you all of it because there's absolutely loads but I mean, look at that. It's literally on our doorstep. So we'll go down here. It actually looks like it's going to rain today, but it's really warm. I feel like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. But I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> when we first came here, when we first explored this, like I've never been to like a forest like this like I'll show you more when we get like down like because it's kind of creepy um and as a as a horror movie f not fanatic but an avid horror movie watcher you can imagine that the first thing that came to my head was oh my god if I'm here on a run on my own literally it's gonna be like the hills have eyes um or wrong turn and like an arrow's gonna get shot through my head and that's just a little insight into the imagination of Caroline Davies um but yeah so i was quite creeped out like nobody comes down here either like it's so quiet obviously not with my mouth at the moment but the i've i've been down here loads of times now like on a walk with martin on runs by myself and in that time i've literally seen two people on separate occasions and they were like dog walkers so it is really quiet and really creepy um, not this section because it's all open, but once we get further down, it is. Um, but I've also seen a lot of deer out here when I've been doing my runs. So I'm quite cautious that, you know, I don't want to disturb them if they're eating. So like if I'm on a run and I see one like a bit further down, I'll stop. Because I don't want to scare it because it's their, it's their home basically, it's not mine. Um, but I love seeing them, like I feel like Snow White or something. You can see down there, it's like a little tractor. We will go down there. Um, there's wind, wind turbines just over there. They look a lot further away than they actually are. Um, but Martin's absolutely obsessed with them for some reason. We're going on a bear hunt. Oh, it's very rocky sometimes. Sometimes when I'm running, I feel like I'm going to trip over a rock and like break my ankle or something. I'm very dramatic as you can tell. And also I apologise if my breathing starts to get heavier because I'm a natural heavy breather anyway. But walking is probably going to escalate that. I feel like you're probably going to get bored if I just keep walking and talking. So I might like cut it out on some bits. Oh, I swear to God I could live here. Like, build me a cabin here and I'll live here. Because it's absolutely stunning. Although at night time I imagine it can get quite creepy so I won't want to live here on my own. But if Martin was with me, that's fine. Also, the nearest Tesco is like a six minute drive away, so that's perfect. Because I always thought like I couldn't live in like a village or a countryside where the shops are so far away because like, because you know when like you're driving down a motorway and you just see a random house and you're like, how do you get like milk? Like you must have to drive ages for it. I always just think, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't live like that because I like to have like shops next to me. Like I grew up in a town. That's kind of all I've known. But this is literally ideal. Okay, this is where we get into like the foresty parts. So you see where I say it can get quite creepy. 
I'll show you more. Like there's openings in trees and things that looks kind of scary. And as I'm saying this, I'm literally thinking that like, this is like the Blair Witch movie or something, you know, when like people are going around recording and all of a sudden they're looking at a tree and there's someone moving. Yeah. Great. Just freaked myself out. Oh, I just got with a coconut again. Okay, you see what I mean of creepiness? Like in that, oh, focus, in that hole there. Like that's literally like what horror movies are all about. Do you know what I mean? We were walking down here the other day and there was a smell of coconut, so I'm not too sure what it is. Like it's not my hair or anything. More creepy gaps. We found um when me and Martin were exploring we found a opening in the trees which is super creepy. We actually walked through it and it wasn't that bad once you're in it, like but like I'm on my own today. So I might shit myself. Like, this is one of the creepy parts. In there. Like, you kind of just want to go, like, explore, but I'm too much of a fan. Hmm. Where's the other cog gone? There was two cogs. Oh my god, is it gone? Oh no, there it is. Why did I think that it moved? Okay, you see what I mean about it being creepy? Like, just listen. There is literally nobody here. I also don't think Martin likes me out here exploring on my own because I think I've made him paranoid that something might happen. Okay, I'm getting tired. <laughs> like it's shit like this that freaks me out. I'm not going to go too far in. Oh. oh, damn. Like, look out over there. No, thank you. Please don't kill me. Over here is like this big, I want to say a dam, but it's not a dam. It's just like a massive hole with like dirty water in it. Like you would not want to go in there. So there's like two different ways that we can go. We can go up there. Um, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. We can go up there, but there's nothing much there. There's like a bunch of wind turbines and then kind of like a dead end. So I'm probably not going to take you up there. Or should I? Whoa, look at that view. How beautiful is that? Stunning. I mean, I will take you up the arch to get up. Running up it, I cannot. My legs will not carry me up this hill. Um, God, even walking it is absolutely killing me. 
and just flew into my mouth. Lovely. Fucking hell, I'm knackered. But there we go, little wind turbines. Little, as she says, huge. Okay. Shit. Harry, I've reached the top. Name that film. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go any further because it's literally. Oh my god. I need to breathe. It's literally just those wind turbines. And then it kind of goes to like a little dead end. You can kind of go right next to the turbines, but I'm not going to take you all the way up there. More so, so I don't have to take my little legs up there. So, now I think we will go back down and then go the other way, so straight on. So, let's go. Don't mind me. Just struggling to get down this hill. Oh god, this is not, not a good look for you, Caroline. We'll keep it on the other side of the phone. We've got pretty much to the bottom of the hill now, as you can see. And I've just got that whiff of coconut again, so I'm thinking it's probably a plant. Let me sniff. Is it this? Or is it this one? Oh, that looks sharp. Looks very sharp. Oh, is it this one? It's very strong over here. I think it might be this. Does anyone know what, like, flower this is? Because it smells really strongly of coconut. I'm pretty sure it's not that one. That, um, that green one. Oh, is that green one this one? No, I think they're completely different plants. It's definitely this. Oh my god, it's so strong. Am I even a stroke? I mean, how like fortunate. Oh, have I got a spider on me now? How fortunate are we that we've got this literally around the corner? Like from us. And the we are like we are allowed to be here. We were worried that it might be private. Um and that we shouldn't be coming here. But the woman that's renting the cottage out to us, she said, no, no, it's fine, you can go. Like it's not private. Now, this is where I usually see the deer, I saw, um, I don't know if it's several deer or just the same one, but I've seen it up here um, and quite a few times along here and then there's a hill just further down that I've seen it on um, a couple of times, so I might have to be quiet if we can see it. It's usually never close enough that I can actually like, get a good picture of it, but I can like see it from, from further away. Like, I literally love it here so much. Which is weird, because I never thought I would be like a nature type of person, type of girl. I don't think I'm really, like, I don't like hiking or anything like that. But there's something about this place that I just love. Okay, this is a bit of a trek, so I'm just going to turn this off so I'm not boring you. Um, and if we see anything, or if I get to a spot, I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're getting a bit closer to this digger and barn area. Um, so this is why we were worried that it might be private property with like having all this equipment. And there were a couple of sheep um, here the other day, but then they moved, so I'm not too sure if they're back. But I'm definitely like people do come here to this place because that digger has like disappeared and came back a couple of times. Um, I kind of want to be quiet in case a deer is around. Who do you think I am, David Attenborough? Oh, I think the sheep are definitely gone for the... So the sheep are in that, that little bit over there the other day and they've been gone quite a while now, so... Oh, I hope nothing bad has happened to them. Oh, 
Oh, it's quite muddy, muddy over here as well. Okay, so I've seen the deer up that hill there, um, which we will go around, and on another one just a bit further down. So we'll have a little look and see if it's there. Let's watch all this mud. Oh, a lot of flies. God damn. Let's have a look. It's usually like three times I've seen it off this one. Oh no, it's not there. So I've seen it quite a lot up this hill. And it doesn't seem to be there today, unfortunately. I thought we might be able to have a little look, but... No. Nada. So sometimes when I run, I run all the way down there. Um, and it kind of comes to a dead end. It comes to like a little cottage where this lovely lady that I've met and spoke to lives. Um, and then there's like a gate with horses in it, so I'm assuming you can't go back there. But the lady and the woman that we're renting the cottage from did say that you can walk for hours down here. Um, and I think there's like another little hill just that way that you can go up. And apparently the old lady said she walked for like four or five hours. And I'm like, damn woman. Um, but we're not going to do that today. <laughs> I'm not prepared to walk that much. Um, but I will show you to the creepy place that me and Martin walked in. Follow me. Oh, the little stream down there. Um, I don't think I'm going to like explore this creepy place because even though we've already been there, I know there's nothing there. It still gives me the heebie-jeebies. go in it just to show you but I ain't about to launch myself through there I think it's a bit further around oh I feel like the cobwebs on me or something is it this bit yes it's this bit okay Look how creepy this is. Oh my god, it's freezing as well. <sighs> like, are you for real? <laughs> like, <laughs> is that not what like horror movies are made of? Like, oh my god. It creeps me the fuck out. And like, we did walk all the way through this. <gasps> that was a dog. Like, I don't think I can walk it myself, to be honest, because I'm too much of a fanny. But there's like, every time I get scared or like, nervous, like, say I'm getting like, my blood taken or something, I need to distract myself. There's a song that always comes to my head, and this is like the most hilarious song ever, and you're probably going to laugh at me. But I don't know why it does, it just does. So I remember that, um, Frosty's advert, where it was like, Hey Tony, I love the things you do. Hey Tony! That song, literally comes to my head every single time my friend Danielle will um, confirm that because when we were younger and we were at a sleepover I was, someone said my friend's house was haunted and I needed the toilet so I went to the toilet and I was singing that to myself and my friend Danielle hid at the bottom of the stairs and scared me while I was singing it which we always laugh about but I mean oh I feel like there's cobwebs all over me Oh, there's actually these cobwebs all over me. Right. I should have brought a jacket, maybe. Like, I kind of want to go all the way in, but... 
don't want to get all these cobwebs on me. Like I know what's at the other end, the other end is just like a field. <laughs> Should I do it? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm just scared of myself. Like, oh, like, hello, creepy. I wish, I wish Martin was here with me. <laughs> like, I can go a bit further. I just have like Harry Potter vibes with the big massive spider. <gasps> like, this is why there's cobwebs everywhere. Like, what is that? Like, what is that just hovering? Can you see it? That like, like that orange thing there? What is it? Oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm bailed. I feel like Gemma Collins. What does she say? I've just seen something really fucking scary. Nah, I'm out of here. Is that what she says? That's me right now, absolutely bailing. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, Carl and Dear is an absolute funny. But oh. she got to see it. Like I'm too much like I've got too much of an imagination to to even think about going down there by myself. <laughs> I feel like things are crawling all over me. I feel like things are in my hair. <laughs> oh. Back to civilization. So you can actually walk up this hill. Um, and it, oh my fingers in the way. You can actually walk up this hill and it takes you right back to where we started. But it's a bit freaking steep and I'm not about walking up there. So I'm just gonna walk back the way we came. Um, so I'm probably gonna turn this off because I've literally showed you everything that's that's around here and that is this way so you don't need to see that all that again so I'm just gonna walk um back I'm just gonna walk back that way and go back to the cottage so I'll see you on the other side 